welcome to Elizabeth Key bus station. Here are the new bus stands. They are now black with the cat ID in the corner and the stand number and then a really cool little map which is much better than it was before so you can actually see where the, your route goes. See, meeting in Elizabeth Key with the blue cat now going to Kings Park and the button and everything. And on the back it's black, cat ID is in the corner. Because all the stops are now just one list. And over there is the green cat stop, which is also a black stand. But behind it is a second blue cat stop, which is what I said. I was wondering how they were going to do it. So yes, they did make two blue cat stops. C5 is for the blue cat and C7 is for the blue cat. But that one actually doesn't have a button and it's just a pole. Let's go and take a look. This is C7. All these cat stops have the same ID. It also has the map and everything, but it doesn't have a button because it's just a pole. They didn't bother replacing it. Quite a tall pole as well though. So this is the one for Kings Park. You can't see when the next one is from here. Ah uh, yes. So we'll just wait for it now and then go up to Kings Park and take a look at the new stuff over there. Look, they even changed the signs on the roof. Okay, so here now comes the Blue Cat. It's a 2141 feature bus, I think. You can see it says now Kings Park instead of Full Circuit. So it's now serving C7. Let's hop on board. These are the new maps inside the bus. This one actually has Barracks Square also on the one line. This is true, both directions it's served. And over there the yellow and green cat map. There you go. Okay guys, so here we are. This is Kings Park Car Park, the terminus of the Route 935 for a while now. But now also the Blue Cat terminates here. On Google Maps it actually shows that there are two separate stops for the two busters, but there's not. They just park in the same bay, which is big enough for two. So they stop there, and they don't actually have the markers on the bus stop at the moment that the Blue Cat stops here, but they have fixed it on all the other bus stops. So this is now a nice little area with two bus routes serving Kings Park, both for free. Um, the bus now just says Busport on it when it's going the other way, which is quite weird. It doesn't say Perth Busport, so people can get confused if it's Elizabeth Key or Perth Busport. But yeah, anyway, that, that's it. Um, this is the Kings Park stop. Nothing really to see. I'm gonna head on down to the next stop, which is Old Tea Pavilion. A strange name. Then they came up with same on both sides of the road, of course, for no confusion, just to see the much better views at that stop. Okay, so here we are. This is Old Tea Pavilion serving Route 935, which I just got off over there, and the Blue Cat now. We got the map for the Blue Cat, and also a timetable for Route 935, which is a high frequency route from the airport to Kings Park via the city and Victoria Park. See, I'm up there. Oh wow, 60 minutes to the airport. Okay, so this, I guess, is the Old Tea Pavilion. It's quite a weird name. They had to like record some more names now for the in bus announcements since they changed all this. But look at that view. This bus stop is much more interesting than the Kings Park bus stop. You got this amazing view from up here. The best view you can get of the city anywhere, in my opinion. It's just awesome. You can you can see the freeway down there, the convention center, and all the skyscrapers. South Perth, the river with the ferries in it. It's beautiful. And over there is the other side of the road stop. Oh look, the blue cats now serve coming to serve the stop. So there it is. Again, 2141 is the same one I just got off and used. Oh, 
off it goes. So yes, the blue cut frequency has been decreased to every 15 minutes now instead of every 10, which means it's a bit harder. It's not pretty. It's not a turn up and go service anymore, basically, because 15 minutes is quite a wait. So it takes a while for each service to turn up. But I guess that's okay, because it because it's not really that busy. As you saw, there was like no one on that bus. Someone just got on here. Okay, let's just go and take a look at the stop over there. Okay, here it is. Just quite a few meters from the other side of the road stop this one is called I mean called it's they are both called old T pavilion because they re renamed most of the stops so they have the same name or put the same name if it's a new stop but the cat ID on this one is 25 and the cat ID on the other side of the road which I forgot to say is 27 and Kings Park is 26 whoops there you go um, so there's a 935 bus just driving through this tree-lined road. It looks really good with the buses driving through this road. 935 2707 But yes, that's it with this stop. They didn't put any buttons here. They didn't bother to add the button stops. I think they've, they're have they like phasing that out, it looks like. So if they ever make any new stops, they won't put the buttons on anymore. So they're just normal poles and they're pretty pointless. I mean, it says like the lifetime, but it's usually almost always wrong as you saw in the last video. So there's no point. All right, let's head on down Fraser Avenue. This is closer to Kings Park Road over there and see the next stop, which is in sight. Alright guys, here's the next stop just before Kings Park Road. It's just named after the road, Fraser Avenue on both sides. Cat ID 24 and 28. I'm also serving Route 935 and the Blue Cat. Nothing special to see. I could have just named it like Old Cannon. That one's called Old Tree Pavilion. This one Old Cannon. Not just like a can. But, but yeah, whatever. That's it. Nothing special to see. We got the map on this one. Not the map, the stopping pattern diagram, which just has two stops for the 935. Five minutes. These are always so over exaggerated. Always, it's way too much for no reason. It's not five minutes. It takes like one, two. Um, yes, so we'll go to the next stop now. Nothing to see here. Okay, and as that bus goes past here at the bottom of this incredibly steep hill which leads up to the great view at Kings Park is the next stop. So here they've left the button stop because this is what well, used to already be a cat stop but just for the green cat as you can see it's green. And now they put a new pole in, missing all the routes. Oh wait, this is a time stop for the 935 because it doesn't go to Elizabeth Key bus station. Missing all the routes and the cats. So you got cat ID 23 on the other side is 29 look they haven't even put up a new pole on that side it's still the old gray button presser but yes that's another stop just before the Malcolm Street no wait this is Malcolm Street just before the bridge I'll cross the Quinana freeway like a green cat wait I could have taken that to the next stop wait I will oh, I missed it yeah, there's no way I'll cross the road like that. That's the message in here. Due to cat route changes, times will be unavailable for blue cats. Doesn't work. They just turned it off. I'm just a blank gray pole now. Okay. Another 935. Oh, and a blue cat now. Both at the same time, up to Kings Park. 2756. And 2673. Heading up. <laughs> Why did those two just hail the blue cat when there's a 935 waiting for them? I mean, it's the same thing. Oh, yes, a bus. Yay, I can go to somewhere, wherever I want. To the next door. And a green cat. Wow. 2145. Okay, let's board this bus. Airport luggage. 
tracks in this bus. It's an airport bus. Haven't been in one of these for a while. Okay, let's get off. Okay, got off there now. Um, just after the bridge across the freeway very close to each other, just after the bridge and before the bridge. This is the next cut stop, but this one's also not put up yet, on the other side it is. Cat ID 22, and here it's probably, what, 30, yes. Um, see some buses here, and that's it for this stop. Heading on to the next one now. Should I walk? Yeah, I should. Even though my bus is still right there. And finally, the last bus stop along Malcolm Street, which is now also a blue cut stop along with the green cat. It's Mill Street on both sides of the roads. Over there, they already put a pole. Here, they didn't. This used to be called something weird, like Cloristers or something. That was a while ago, not just before the changes. Um, yeah, also empty, also nothing to see. That's it now for the changes along Malcolm Street. Oh, 24 bus going past. So yeah, now you got blue and green cats serving this. And when the purple cat will be introduced on the 27th of February next year, We'll have three routes heading between Elizabeth Key bus station and Kings Park, or at least Kings Park Road. Okay, let me cross the road now, because look at the, all this walk I'm about to do. I'm about to go all the way back to Kings Park, even though I just walked all the way down most of the way, just so I can film the blue cut time lapse. Sneaky little thing there. We've got to go back with the 935. Oh, I think it's coming. Gotta hurry up then. Some not in service buses. Run across the room. Run, 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 run. Here we go. Yes, this is cat ID 21, and on that side it hits 31, I think. Yes, it is. Mill Street 21, 31. So here at the Kings Park stop, there's a sign that says that from the 5th of December, the Blue Cat will use this stop until further notice. That sounds strange because this is a permanent blue cat stop, right? No, actually, what I said before with this stop not saying that it's just a blue cat, that's because they're actually building a new stop over there, as you can see with all those cones and roadwork, for the blue cat, which is already on Google Maps, so that they don't clog up one stop like they do right now, because right now we had four buses turn up at the same time. A terminating 935, a 935 to the airport, a 935 to Belmont, and a Blue Cat, all at the same time, so it got clogged up, of course. Yes, okay. Little secret, this was, this is filmed after, like, when I came back up from Malcolm Street, and I've been waiting for half an hour, because someone took the front seat, so now it's taking forever to get on the Blue Cat, just so I can film the trip. And there we have it, at Perth Busport, Blue Cat, something you've never seen before, a cat in the busport. This one took extremely long, it took 45 minutes to get from Kings Park to here. Oh look, it's already departing, watch it on the camera now. 5.47 and it's 5.57 and it's meant to wait here 5 minutes as well, it's so late. Okay, let's go and look at the other new stops on Flitzgerald Street. Flitzgerald Street. Here is the new stop on the hard to say Flitzgerald Street. Cat ID 13, which I filmed in the 4 video, serving 19, 960 and the blue cat. And there's the one on the other side. 960 just drove past. Let's go a bit closer. So that's the one that I filmed in the other video as well, when the stop was blank. Now it's got the black symbol on it for the cat. Seems like cat symbols are all black now. That's cat ID 11. 
Let's just go and look at the new Russell Square stop really quick behind the corner here. And these are the new cut bus stops for Russell Square. I just helped a bunch of people over there because they were waiting at the old Russell Square stop which is still left up and still says that a bus is due, so that's really confusing people. This one's for Perth Bus Park, and that one's for um, in Kings Park via Elizabeth Key, Cat ID 10, Cat ID 14, or here, yeah, 14. And yes, Russell Square, the stop is now here, a new one on this road instead of that one. Confusing a lot of people. Alright guys, it is now 7.20pm because the blue cat took absolutely forever for me to film. It took like 50 minutes one way, so it took very long. This is where I was in the last video doing some explanation here on Hell Street. Now this is Red Cat Stop, well, Cat ID 105, Red Cat Stop Waka. Look at the weird map for the Red Cat, it's so different, it's so strange. Just whoop, whoop, and just that crossover at the West Perth end. But yes, look, they removed the bench that I was sitting on last time. This is now the terminus of the... Oh, was I sitting at that beam? I don't even know. This is the terminus of those three routes that terminate here, as well as being the red cut stop now. And the Wacker stop, well, this is the Wacker stop, but the old Wacker stop behind the corner, over here, is still right there. Although, of course, it's not served. Look, up there's a yellow cat just serving the old red cat stop too, which looks like it still has the red bar on it. So yeah, they haven't replaced any of them overnight like I thought they would. Definitely not. Um, so now the red cat comes down here, and then it goes all the way up there onto Nelson Square to go to the Matagara Bridge or whatever that's called up there, Nelson Circuit or something. Uh, I think I'll just take the bus, yes. I'll take the bus to Matagara Bridge and we'll look at what that new stop looks like, which is great for accessing up to Stadium. And then we'll look at the Trinity College stop, I believe. Yes, and then we'll go back. And then it'll be the end of the video. We've checked out all the new stops. So apparently the frequency should be every five minutes right now. So it should come soon. Yeah, also it serves Nile Street actually. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, there it is. Let's hop on board. Here we go. 2142 just dropped me off at the Wak the new oh sorry, Wakamatagara Bridge stop. Off it goes. Lovely view of the Swan River here and up to Stadium at night and the lit up Matagara Bridge. Look, they finished building the zip line on the bridge which means that you can now climb up there like if you pay and zip line down that string don't know if you can see it yeah I don't think you can see it on the camera but there is actually a wire going all the way down there even I lose sight of it sight of it, over there to the park on the other side of the river over there's the Crown Casino and the up to stadium so this is really easy access to the stadium now via cat services but otherwise that's that's it with the red cat changes. I'll show you on my map real quick next to the river bench here. Getting it out. Yes, I've already collected a new press cat map, of course. The map on this looks so much better. Look at this. Wait a minute. Here we go. Sorry. Opening it up. It's pretty stiff. Look at that. It looks so nice, doesn't it? It's like slightly diagonal. So, as you can see, over here the Red Cat serves the new Wacker stop 105, goes up onto, oh it's called Waterloo, Waterloo Crescent, serves stop 74 along with the Yellow Cat, but not 50, I don't know, <laughs> 50, why would it serve that, it's on the other side of the road. Then serves stop 79 at the Matagor Bridge, goes back down here, serves stop 80 as Trinity College, and goes there to, an, uh, to continue its routes. And also a new stop at Queen's Gardens on the other side of the road. Yes, so that's that with my map. Look, another bus has arrived. Got to keep changing the focus on this. There it is. Not in service though, because it's nearly 7.40, is it? Yes, so now it's going back to the depot, because the service's frequency is about to change to every 10 minutes. So, one other thing 
and I, I didn't realize that the Beatford Street Bridge old stop, which is now called Press Station for the Blue Cat, there isn't actually one on the other side of the road if you're going down towards Elizabeth Quay, because that would just make it too good. Oh look, people go on the zip line. Look at that. Look at that, flying across the river. Imagine. Yeah, because that would make it too congested. So there just isn't a stop there, there's a little gap. But yeah, that's that's it. So that's all I needed to say. Oh, they got to the end of the zip line now. That's a really cool thing right there. Especially with the lights at night. Okay, I'll let you read this little information board about the bridge. And then we're going to look at the next stop, which is Trinity College. This one is... So what's this one? Stop ID... Let me check. Wait. So this one is stop ID 79, with 74 being the one which used to be called East Perth Cemeteries, but it's now called Nile Street, shared with the Yellow Cat. And then Trinity College is 80. Yeah, so here's this thing. 900 lights. Music. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's that. Let me get, look at the stop properly real quick. Yeah, oh, I, you probably didn't see the sign, it's probably blurry, right? Yeah, anyway, here's the stop. 27751, or however you were meant to say that number, the five digit code for the stop. Uh, yes. To West Perth via Perth Station. I always thought there should have been a stop here. It looks like such a perfect place. You come off the bridge and then you get on the bus. And now there is. All right, yes, let's go to the next stop. Okay, and this is the Trinity College stop right in front of the Trinity College Oval right there. Cat ID 802807, same thing, red cut to West Paris. Just another big pole, they're just putting big poles at every new stop. So that's this stop, yes. Um, one more stop to look at, which is the East Perth Cemetery. Okay. Here we go outside East Perth Cemetery at night. Here's the final cat stop to take a look at, which is served by both the yellow and red cat now at the East Perth Cemetery stop. Times will be unavailable for the red cat. This is now served by both, but the other side it's not. not. Cat ID 50, and I don't know what this cat ID is. Oh yeah, 78, yes. So the next one seems to be in 20 minutes. That's bad. So now I'm stuck here, but yes, I filmed all the new stops now. That's the end of this video.